Hey everybody, AZ Plant Reviews here. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the uh, classics of non-desert plants that get put into desert landscaping here in Arizona. And that is the Bougainvillea. This Bougainvillea right here is probably not in the right spot considering it's right next to a sidewalk and has to get chopped back all the time. You can tell on the inside that it has not been properly rejuvenated in a very long time. It could use being completely restarted, but the foliage is uh, pretty exemplar on the outside, so I'm going to use it as the example for here. Now, the Bougainvillea is a pretty plant. It is native, I think, like to India or something, and it's just been put all over the place in the warmer climates. It is strong. It can handle the heat. It can handle the full sun. It needs a decent amount of water but you can gradually taper the water and you can like stress out the plant a little bit to make it get these red pre-flower leaves on it and yes that's right the red part's not actually the flower the little white guy here in the middle is that's the actual flower but yeah so I don't recommend doing that too often maybe just like once a year but other than that it's a uh, yeah, it's it's strong it, it could take some fertilizer it will grow to enormous sizes pretty much infinitely, though there are varieties that trail more to the ground. There's also the purple bougainvillea, which doesn't have any spikes, which is nice because the spikes on these classic red ones can be pretty painful. Um, and overall, I mean, they're pretty good. They're, they're an awesome little bit of color that you could put out here, though, of course, they're not native plants and we'd prefer native plants, but if you got a bougainvillea, you might as well run with it. I like them. I can give them about an 8 out of 10, um, though I definitely would prefer one to be in a spot better than this one, in a place where it can grow to its fullest potential. Or at least, you know, chop this one like straight to the ground and let it restart. But anyway, that's it for this one. Let me know what you think, how you would rate a Bougainvillea. Um, I'll do a separate one for a Torch Glow Bougainvillea because that's kind of a completely different game. But yeah, uh, see you at the next plant review. Bye-bye.